now assume we have this particular scenario that uh, assume the transmission time is 2 seconds or you can say 2 milliseconds take any unit and the propagation time is assume uh, 2 seconds propagation time is also 2 seconds ok then what should be the window size in case of sliding window protocol the window size should be dt plus 2 into tp upon dt so which is equal to 2 plus 2 into 2 upon 2 which is equal to 2 plus 4 upon 2 which is again 3 so the window size should be 3 to get 100% efficiency in this particular case okay so that mean to say that we mean to say that uh, if this is the sender this is the receiver and this is the time then we should transmit the packet number 1 we should transmit the packet number 1 2 and 3 in this window packet number 1 2 and 3 in this window and then we will get acknowledgement for packet number 1 then we will get an acknowledgement for packet number 1 right so as soon as we get an acknowledgement for packet number 1 we can shift this window and we can send one more packet right and we need to identify what is the minimum number of sequence numbers we can use to make this communication possible now understand one thing understand one thing what is good about this is if you send the packet number one the receiver has already received the packet number one and the receiver is saying that i received the packet number one now send me the packet number two and as soon as the receiver is going to receive the packet number two it will say now send me the packet number three right so after this communication you know that the first packet was already delivered so what you can do is you can send next packet with the same sequence number which is one right so you send the next packet with the same sequence number which is one that is two three and one they are in the window so as soon as the packet number two will be delivered the packet number two will be delivered you can you can uh, send again the packet number two you can send again the packet number two because the receiver was expecting the packet number three as soon as the packet number three was delivered you can again send you can again send you can again send the packet number three you can again send the packet number three if you use the number of sequence numbers like this then still this communication will be effective and still this communication will be possible in case of sliding window uh, sliding window protocol if we use the packet number equal to the window size still we can do the communication why it, it is possible because the packet number one is delivered because the packet number one is delivered so we can send one more packet at the packet number one with the packet number one and receiver will assume that this is the other packet there is a next packet because receiver will not repeat it again okay so if we use these many packet numbers that is this uh, uh, that is uh, that is uh, the size of the sliding window then we can do this communication effectively right so if these many packets we are going to use then what should be the number of bits required to represent these packets okay so we know that window size can be represented by 1 plus t 2 tp upon tt 1 plus 2 into tp upon tt this is the window size right and we can use only these many packets number right so if we need to identify how many bits are required then we can take log of ceiling value log of tt plus 2 tp upon tt log of tt plus 2 tp upon tt with base 2 okay so which can also be done like this log of 1 plus log of 1 plus 2 tp upon tt ceiling value ceiling value and the base 2 again which can also be written as because this is an addition so you can say log 1 base 2 plus plus log of 2 tp upon tt mm, fine so tp upon tt like this okay i think there is no benefit of using this formula also but you can derive it like this i think so uh, this is valid so uh, this can also be done right so given the transmission time given the propagation time we can find out how many minimum number of sequence numbers we can use in sliding window protocol so that we can get this much uh, this much 100% uh, efficiency right but in some cases they will be giving you that we are going to use a particular window size 
the, you you'll be using a particular window size which is less than the window size which we are going to get with this formula in that case what will be the efficiency of sliding window protocol which we need to which we will discuss in the next video okay. consider this scenario assume we have the sliding window protocol and this is the question it is saying that the let the transmission time is 1 second and the propagation time is 49.5 seconds propagation time is 49.5 second you can take this as in millisecond but i'm taking seconds for simplicity then what should be the window size the window size should be 1 plus 2 into 49.5 upon 1 which is equal to 1 plus 99 upon 1 which is equal to 100 so window size should be 100 so what should be the minimum number of bits minimum number of bits required for sequence number minimum number of bits required for sequence number we have already done in the previous video it is log 100 base 2 ceiling value log 100 base 2 ceiling values and what is this value you can easily see this value is 7 okay see uh, you don't actually need a log table to calculate this value because we know what are the powers of 2 so let me uh, elaborate it in that fashion for example if you do 2 raised to power 0 then it is equal to 1 if you do 2 raised to power 1 then it is equal to 2 2 raised to power 2 is 4 2 raised to power 3 is 8 2 raised to power 4 is 16 2 raised to power 5 is 32 2 raised to power 6 is 64 2 raised to power 7 is 128 2 raised to power 8 is 256 2 raised to power 9 in 9 is 512 and 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 2 raised to power 11 is 2048 and 2 raised to power 12 is 4096 and so on right now you know that uh, if we need 100 sequence numbers then these 100 sequence numbers lie between 2 raised to power 6 and 2 raised to power 7 lie between 2 raised to power 6 and 2 raised to power 7 with the help of 6 bits that what, I, what do I mean to say is in this case why I am taking 2 raised to power this, these powers because if we have 1 bit then we can represent 2 sequence numbers how 1 will be 0 and second one will be 1 if we have 2 bits if we have 2 bits with 2 bits you can represent 4 sequence numbers how we can write it as 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is 0 1 2 and 3 in total these are 4 sequence numbers if we have 3 bits then we can represent 8 sequence numbers if we have 4 bits then we can represent 16 sequence numbers in the same way if we have 6 bits then we can only represent 64 sequence numbers but if we increase one more bit that is if we get 7 bits then we can represent 128 sequence numbers but this the number of sequence numbers here are 100 and this 100 lie between 64 and 28 6 bits are not enough to represent 100 sequence numbers and with the 7 bits are enough to represent 100 sequence numbers so therefore you can see in this case we are going to require 7 bits to represent these 100 sequence numbers if we use these many uh, this is the if we use this is the window size then we can get an efficiency which is 100 percent but what if in the question they are giving you in the question they are giving you that assume 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 the transmission time is 1 second propagation time is 49.5 seconds and number of number of bits in sequence number field number field is 6 bits only then what is the efficiency then what is the efficiency of sliding window protocol what is the efficiency of sliding window protocol or we can say what is the efficiency which can which we can get in this particular scenario now in this particular scenario we have already seen to get 100 percent efficiency 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 we can only use seven bits we can use seven bits or you can say we are going to require 100 sequence numbers we are going to require 100 sequence numbers and here they are saying what is the efficiency actually this this question should be framed like this what is the maximum efficiency you can get what is the maximum efficiency which you can get because what is the efficiency is dependent on what is the number of sequence numbers you can uh, represent with six bits you can represent 64 sequence numbers and you can even have two sequence numbers four sequence numbers we can also represent by six bits but here if you say what is the maximum efficiency you can get that means you have to use these six bits as effectively or as efficiently as possible so if you have total 
six bits if we have total six bits with the help of these six bits we can represent two raised to power six sequence numbers at max two raised to power six sequence numbers at max if there's no scaling factor there's no multiplicative factor right so two raised to power six sequence numbers at max so if you are going to use two raised to power six sequence numbers that means the window size that means the window size should be 64 at maximum the window size should be 64 right but to get 100 percent efficiency in this case to get 100 percent efficiency efficiency the window size should be 100 the window size should be 100 but we are only having window size as 64 therefore the efficiency here will be 64 divided by 100 which is equal to 64 percent which is equal to 64 percent this is the basic mathematic mathematical formula right so it is not necessary that here in this case we get we are only getting 100 percent the better way is you can also do it like this to get 100 percent assume we need to get 100 percent if we say to get 100 percent to get 100 percent if if we need if we need if we need by sequence numbers or so by window size and we are only having we are only having we are only having x window size we are only having x window size in that case the maximum efficiency which we can get is x upon y multiplied by 100 so in this case also you can apply the same formula so it is 64 upon 100 multiplied by 100 so efficiency which we are going to get uh, is 64 percent so this is the formula which we can use this is the formula which we can use if we get a window size which is less than the maximum window size okay so this is in the case of sliding window protocol let us analyze the sliding window protocol in more detail now